external carotid artery gives off eight important branches the first and foremost is the ascending pharyngeal artery which is a ascending pharyngeal artery which is the first and the medial most branch so the first branch is the ascending pharyngeal artery as the name itself indicating this ascending pharyngeal artery provides pharyngeal branches tympanic branches to the tympanic membrane and the middle ear cavity and the meningeal branches so the meningeal branches enter through the foramen of the base of the skull and provides provides the menge meninges within the cranial cavity so this is the ascending pharyngeal which is the medial most branch next important branch most important the superior thyroid artery the superior thyroid artery okay so let us see how the superior thyroid is and this is the external carotid artery so this is the external carotid artery and uh, this is the ascending pharyngeal artery yes so now the superior thyroid artery so this is the lateral lobe one of the lateral lobe of the thyroid located over the thyroid cartilage so let us extend the external carotid artery so just follow as i am drawing it would be easy for you so this superior thyroid artery and uh, let us just draw the yes so this is the thyroid so this is the hyoid bone here yes this is the mandible with its base here so let us draw our uh, signature diagram here okay so this is at the level of c3 yes and this is at the level of c4 your thyroid okay so let us draw a small uh, part of okay so this is a lateral lobe of thyroid gland so this is a lateral lobe of your thyroid gland so at this point below the greater corner of hyoid bone you have the superior thyroid artery arising from the external carotid the second most important this superior thyroid artery provided provides branches which are infrahyoid branch or infrahyoid artery then superior laryngeal artery so i would be emphasizing only on the important branches here i am not going to emphasize all the uh, branches important branches in the superior thyroid is the superior laryngeal artery this superior laryngeal artery supplies the one of the branch supplies the larynx interior of the larynx and this is accompanied this is accompanied by the external laryngeal nerve by the external laryngeal nerve so the superior thyroid artery gives a superior laryngeal artery which is accompanied by the external laryngeal nerve so during thyroid surgeries when the superior thyroid artery has to be ligated that is the blood supply has to be cut short it is uh, it is important that the external laryngeal nerve and the superior laryngeal artery be ligated properly and separated out and very close to the thyroid so the branches are infrahyoid the superior laryngeal artery the superior laryngeal artery has clinical implications here the superior laryngeal then it gives glandular branches or the thyroid these glandular branches what are these glandular branches these are branches to the thyroid so uh, they are again divided into anterior branches and posterior branches this anterior and posterior branches pass anterior and posterior to the thyroid gland and will be supplying the thyroid gland so it supplies the infrahyoid supralaryngeal glandular branches a cricothyroid branch a cricothyroid branch so supplying the major quota supplying the major quota to the larynx and to the thyroid gland so superior thyroid major quota is supplying what to the larynx and to the thyroid gland the third important branch is the lingual artery is the lingual artery yes as the name suggests the lingual artery has to be supplying the yes it has to supply the tongue so the next branch is the lingual artery this lingual artery arises just at the level of the hyoid it reaches it passes behind from the carotid triangle into the digastric triangle behind the hyoglossus muscle you have your hyoglossus muscle here yes hyoglossus muscle it passes behind the hyoglossus muscle and continues into the floor of the mouth continues into the floor of the mouth to supply the tongue in the oral cavity so third important branch is lingual nerve lingual nerve also provides suprahyoid branches 
suprahyoid artery it supplies the tongue through dorsal lingual artery and it also supplies the sublingual sublingual artery this sublingual artery supplies the submandibular gland and the sublingual gland okay so the lingual artery has to supply it supplies the quota what are the territories it is supplying it is supplying the tongue and it is supplying the salivary glands salivary glands okay so these are the three main branches here what are they one arising from the medial side this medial side is ascending pharyngeal which is providing the pharynx through pharyngeal tympanic membrane through tympanic and meninges through meningeal branches superior thyroid artery is the second most and important branch of the external carotid artery it gives an infrahyoid branch a superior laryngeal artery which is most important as it is yes it is accompanied by the external laryngeal and these two structures are very important during thyroidectomy that is thyroid removal surgeries that it gives glandular branches to the thyroid then to the cricothyroid and the cricothyroid artery so the quota for the superior thyroid artery is to supply the larynx and the thyroid gland is located over the thyroid cartilage coming to the lingual artery another important and chief branch of external carotid artery it supplies its quota is to the tongue and the salivary gland so it provides the tongue and the salivary glands through suprahyoid artery dorsal lingual artery and the sublingual arteries